Thank you.
my experience when I've had guys, you know, Virgil Hill and uh, Brandon Royer, um, to get them from the amateur style to a world title fight, it took four years. I mean, to me, we're on fast track, he, he's a little bit older, so he's going to have to get a little bit quicker. So the thing is, the thing is he, he's doing very well in the midst and so forth. And then he's starting, he's doing really well, but then sometimes he'll sit back and do an amateur style. And then I, I'll have to make that adjustment in the corner. So I want him to start using his power a lot more because he does have power. He can punch very well. He just doesn't use it. I mean, he likes to sometimes get score points and get out. I think um, being around man, he can't hurt any, anybody because his work ethic is still the best ever. Uh, he's still the hardest worker I've ever had. What is it, what is it about him uh, that makes you say he can win a championship uh, within a year? You know, when I see him boxing Brian Beloyer, one of the best fighters in the world in his weight division, and he does well with him, and he, he gets the best of him most days, and uh, I said, wow, this kid really can play. How does it feel to be now a star? Uh, yeah, I maybe 10 years, you know, just as to be an amateur boxer, but now I'm a freshman. Even my opponent got rich experience than me, so I need to know more from the game, so I think I need to do more from the Also, this is uh, six weeks that I have to have training class with Freddy. And during this time, Freddy just told me how to use my uh, punch power force and how to set up, how to use my speed. I think uh, Freddy taught me more than before yeah. because I want to train with Freddy and I also want to show some Chinese boxing style, Chinese style boxing to everybody who just really love, loves boxing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. He has a lot of experience, so it's real interesting fight for me and for him. I hope it's going to be a good fight. And his first time fighting in China. China's not too far from Russia, going to Macau. Maybe you'll have some Russian fans there to support you? Yes, my uh, my friends already uh, buy a ticket. Maybe five, ten people come from Russia will support me. It's very important for me. It's uh, very happy already. So it's good. All right. One of the things that Freddie said was in the first fight, your pro debut, uh, you fought for the fans and for your country. He said, "This time, I want him to fight for me. I want him to fight for Freddie this time." What do you think about that? <laughs> Yeah, for my first fight, I think um, I fight for my fans, for my country. But you know, Freddy uh, is a very good trainer. He gave me a lot of um, very good suggestions and then me how to learn uh, to get a punch powerful speed set up. So I thank him. I thank him very much. And I think for the next section, uh, per fight, each fight, I just want to fight for the fans. For Freddie, for Gavin, for Bob, for everybody who really for me. Yeah, no, I'm just, <laughs> Kelsey, no. yeah. I just went, went just like a punch. Yeah, a powerful punch. Because it'll be on the Pacquiao card, oh, yeah. and that will show you a fight. <laughs> Do you want a picture, Ying Ying? Do you want me to take a picture, Ying Ying? All right, one, two, three. No worries. It's, not Russian it's Mexican Russian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, my immediate attention is uh, going back to Macau to do that show, um, see the uh, evolution of Shaming, and whether uh, he turns out to be not just the point of the spear for the new frontier, but the whole spear. Um, and if the uh, title fights are as good as they were the last time, and I'm looking forward to a good show. I covered most of Ali's fights, okay? And um, that just a starter. <laughs> Thank you so much.